The GW4 organisation is a consortium of the universities of Cardiff, Bristol, Bath and Exeter. And the idea is that by working together the four universities can share expertise and also some of the expensive infrastructure such as the PETS facility in Cardiff. PET imaging is a functional imaging technique, so unlike CT or MRI where you're looking for anatomical changes, with PET where you're using uh, radio labelled molecular probes, you can start to investigate the functional uh, aspects of brain tumours in vivo. In the history of PET, uh, PET's been underutilised in brain tumours due to a number of logistical challenges. One is that the, the probes that could be used um, had technical issues around the production. Some of them had very short radioisotopes, which meant they could only be done in a few centres. Or the probes that had longer half-life couldn't be produced in quantities that would be, or which would enable uh, a national utilisation of those probes. We're at, the we're at the situation in Cardiff now where we have a number of probes where we can produce sufficient amounts, but we can also supply a number of other pet centres. So we're, in, we're now at a point where the technical difficulties that may have hampered the uptake of the pet in the past have been overcome and I think it's time to revisit the use of pet in uh, imaging brain tumours. Well, we, we've, we've looked at um, some of the technical challenges. So we're we've used a, a unique method of producing a radio labelled agent called F-DOPA and in the past it was only maybe possible to produce one or two patient doses from a single production batch. The technique that we've implemented in Cardiff now means that we're able to produce 20 or 30 patient doses in a single batch and that means that we're now able to supply that agent um, both locally and also nationally and we're supplying uh, a hospital in London for example from Cardiff with this PET agent on a regular basis. Thank <laughs> you.